Christmas is one of the busiest seasons next to Thanksgiving for traveling. I spent the day with some travelers to find out where they were going and what obstacles they faced on their journey. Michelle Asp and her husband anxiously await the arrival of their daughter, Julia. She is the second of three children coming home for Christmas. We had two, a daughter and son-in-law, who arrived um, into Appleton at about 9.20 this morning. And they are still awaiting the arrival of their third daughter, who is driving instead of flying to Green Bay. TripAdvisor says 63% of Americans will travel from family to family during the holidays. And delays are expected, but airports say it is not their busiest time of year. Actually, Thanksgiving is our busiest uh, travel period because there's a, a four-day window in there in which people actually have to move. But that doesn't mean flights aren't filling up fast. Everybody should be uh, able to uh, get where they're going as long as they've got a reservation because most of the flights are full. At Austin Straubel, Frank Raspberry and his wife are waiting for their flight. Uh, we're going to hang out, most likely catch a little bit of the Packer game in a lounge. Waiting is to be expected with the large number of people traveling, especially tomorrow. On Christmas Eve, not only will you have holiday travelers, but you'll also have uh, folks who came in for the, uh, for the Packer game. Holiday travel is up this year, but as long as you plan ahead and allow for extra time getting to your destination, it will take away some of the travel headaches. Now, one of the most frustrating things is flight cancellations. So calling in before your flight is recommended, as well as printing your boarding pass in advance to speed up the check-in process. Raquel Amell, NBC 26.